My name's Kyle, I am a math lecturer and folk singer and sometimes both together. I'm going to be talking about the song that made me fall in love with mathematics. Now our next contestant in final for the night is Kyle Evans. Kyle is an A-level maths lecturer and a part-time songwriter and he's going to tell us about the song that made him fall in love with maths. Thank you Kyle, please give him a big round of applause. this one hit wonder from the late 60s sat in the back of my parents car I remember thinking to myself what would that look like graphically today? <laughs> more today than yesterday but not as much as tomorrow I was that sort of child and because I was in primary school at the time I was thinking of a linear relationship a straight line graph something quite simple so to help you out to visualize this as well this great big glee behind me I want you to imagine this as a set of axes so along here Lengthwise, this represents time, your whole life together with the chap from this song. And the height of it represents love, so how much he loves you as a proportion of how much he possibly could. Now if we join up <laughs> the two points we know about, so we know that down here we've got the day you met, and we know that in this corner we've got the end of your long and happy life together. Well if we join these points up with a straight line, in a linear relationship, that means that time and love are going up at the same rate. So when you're halfway through your life together, he still only loves you half as much as he possibly could. <laughs> <laughs> it seems quite like sad to me, but it gets worse. Once my, uh, my dad brought my mum a card that said, I love you twice as much today as yesterday, but half as much as tomorrow. And this is obviously terrible because this describes <laughs> Loosely speaking, an exponential relationship. <laughs> <laughs> the path is doubling, 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 doubling every day. But of course, if you work this back in the same way, just one day before the end of your life together, he loves you half as much as he can. <laughs> one day before that is 25%. One day before that is 12.5%. You've only got to come back a week and it's less than 1%. <laughs> <laughs> My dad, when he bought my mum this card, is promising to hold her in complete contempt. <laughs> There's no other way to leave space for this huge hump at the end. So, excuse my choice of words. <laughs> now, this, might, this probably seems quite silly, quite trivial, but this is important. This is the first time in my life I'd ever done any mathematical modelling. So you take the information on the data given and you fit it to the best, most appropriate model. Now, this is evident in statistics all the way to engineering, any form of applied mathematics. This is really vital for. And, uh, and if you're wondering, surely the, the ideal relationship, in both senses of the word, must be a logarithmic relationship, which has a steep increase and then is always increasing but a lesser and lesser rate. So if you'll indulge me, here's my more realistic love song. Baby, I love you logarithmically Initially I met you and we fell in love steeply Now every day I love you more though it gets harder to see Baby, I love you I'm sorry, Rowena, they weren't meant to laugh, so that's why it took a bit longer than it was. <laughs>